The robo has performed exceptionally well. It's, it was easier for the guys who'd done the training to get hold of how it operates rather quickly. And it allows them to come set it up, press the button, so to speak, and walk off and do something else. To a lot of the staff, you know, they were thinking, well, I'll believe it when I see it type thing, but they have all turned around. Yeah, it's a spice, but when people see it, they'll think, what's this machine all about? So when they come and the machine turn around with people, the machine go around people, it's a sight to see something like that. And people think the machine go to them and knock them down, but it didn't knock them down. Some people film it, so it look good when it stops at the person and turn around. No, that, this one is the best one we have so far. You know, we can leave it and come back after, and then we think that machine will finish, then we take it down after. The staff mainly have all taken well to it. They can multitask when that's going on, and that's, that's what helps them. The, the main difference, of the changes that I would like to see, that, and it was a robotic vacuum cleaner, that would go ahead and do the dusting first. Then it's just because it's just, somebody presses a button on the vacuum cleaner, 40 minutes later they press a button on the, the scrubber dryer robot, and all the jobs are done there. It, it, say there's, there's certain areas here you, you wouldn't be able to use it, but the large open spaces like the Great Court and a few of the other galleries and service corridors, it'd be excellent for it.